I'm surprised it made that noise. <laughs> so that's what we gotta fix today. Hey, Wonderfuls. When I first bought the van, I got sort of a one honk and one deflated kind of a huh. So a honk and a half is about all I got out of it. And I just thought it didn't work for months. Uh, and then I accidentally leaned on the horn one day and it let out kind of a little honk again, but that was it. <laughs> then one last time while testing during the filming of this video. The partial and occasional honk led me to believe that it wasn't the fuse, uh, but I figured that'd be the easiest thing to check, so I did, and the fuse was good. Then upon going to check the relay, and thank you, Melissa, for confirming this, I'm not losing my mind. The relay on the 2010 Ford Transit Connect is not in the fuse box under the hood, like 99% of vehicles out there. Due to a mistake, <laughs> there isn't one, or it's not serviceable. So my next step was going to be testing the horns themselves. So I already snapped off one bolt, <laughs> trying to get the light out without taking the bumper off. And I'm not even 100% sure the horn is under there. So instead of wasting a bunch of time and getting even more frustrated, I'm going to move to plan B. I was having a really hard time locating. It seemed like a lot of the stuff on the internet wasn't really pointing it out and I couldn't find any diagrams. I had read some forums and didn't comprehend them. So thanks to Kevin, who walked me through one over the phone while I crawled around under the vehicle, I was able to find the horn, which is located in front of the left tire, or the driver's side tire if you're in North America. And there's actually a little kind of skid plate shroud just beneath the front bumper. And if you move that out of the way, you can see where the horn is. I just needed to grab some wire, a fuse, and a momentary switch. I happen to already have a horn kicking around in the barn. I think it came from a motorbike. I'm not really sure what it'll sound like, but better than nothing. And better than the air horn that I've been packing around in my side door. This is our wiring diagram of <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Positive on the battery to an inline fuse and then to the momentary switch. And then the negative side of the switch goes to the horn and then back to either the negative on the battery or just a ground somewhere on the vehicle. So I fed some wires through the firewall like I did for my shore power, which I have in another video and I will link that at the end of this one. Then I used a step drill very carefully to drill through the dash in a spot that was easily accessible so that I could push the horn and also where there were no other wires or anything behind the dash. I grabbed a two inch angle bracket to mount the horn under the hood. I actually modified that slightly using the step drill again, very carefully and making one of the holes just a little bit bigger and then giving it a slight bend so that the horn could mount without touching anything else. And then I just screwed this in place where it fit under the hood and wouldn't interfere with anything. So I didn't actually fix my horn. I just put a new one in and it works. <laughs> and it's kind of a throwback method with the push button on the dash. Reminds me of my truck. And once I connected the battery again, I was ready to test honk. <laughs> beep, beep. Turns out the little horn sounds ridiculous. <laughs> But it's kind of perfect for MacGuffin and definitely a lot safer 